Imagine an object so dense, so powerful, that nothing, not even light, the fastest thing in the universe can escape its grasp. This isn't science fiction, this is a black hole. It's what's left over when a truly massive star dies in a spectacular explosion. The star's core collapses under its own immense gravity, crushing itself down into an infinitely small point. Think about it, take a star many times the mass of our sun, and squeeze it into a space smaller than a single atom. The result is a gravitational field so ridiculously strong that it tears the very fabric of space-time. Every black hole has a boundary, a line in the sand drawn in the fabric of space-time itself. Think of it as the edge of a waterfall on a cosmic river. The event horizon is precisely that, the point of no return, for a black hole. A small black hole, one with just a few times the mass of our sun, might have an event horizon only a few miles across, but a supermassive black hole, like the one at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, can be enormous. Sagittarius A, our galaxy's central black hole, has an event horizon that would stretch halfway to the orbit of Mercury if it were in our solar system. As our intrepid astronaut glides toward the black hole, the universe begins to put on a spectacular and frankly terrifying show. The first thing you'd notice is the light. The black hole's immense gravity acts like a powerful lens, a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. You would see multiple images of the same star smeared into arcs and rings of light. To you and your spaceship time would seem to pass normally, your watch would tick at one second per second, but to an observer watching you from a safe distance, your journey would appear to slow down. As you get closer and closer to the event horizon, they would see your spaceship move in ever slower motion. Black holes exert what are called tidal forces. Near a black hole, this effect is magnified to an unimaginable degree. If you were falling feet first, your feet would be pulled much more intensely than your head. Looking out your window, you'd see nearby asteroids and space dust being drawn into a glowing superheated disk of material swirling around the black hole, known as an accretion disk. But for a large supermassive black hole the reality is surprisingly, and perhaps more terrifyingly, anticlimactic. There is no signpost, no bell rings. For you the astronaut, the moment of crossing the event horizon would be completely uneventful. You would simply float across this invisible line without noticing anything special at all. You could, in theory, still look back. But what would you see? The light from the entire universe would be compressed into a shrinking, distorted window behind you. Looking forward, in the direction of the black hole's center, you would see only darkness. Absolute, complete blackness. Every possible path you could take, no matter which way you turn or how hard you fire your rockets, now leads inexorably toward the center. Now let's talk about the difference between falling into a small, stellar mass black hole and a giant supermassive one. For a small black hole, the journey is short and brutal. Because its event horizon is much closer to the singularity, the tidal forces are incredibly steep and powerful, even before you cross the threshold. This process has a wonderfully descriptive, if gruesome name, spaghettification. Your body would be pulled apart, elongated like a piece of spaghetti. The stretching force would quickly overcome the molecular bonds holding your body together. You would be elongated into a thin stream of atoms, a glowing ribbon of your former self funneling down into the black hole's maw. Falling into a supermassive black hole is a completely different kind of experience, at least initially. These are the gentle giants of the black hole world, if such a term can be used for an object that consumes stars for breakfast. Because of this immense mass, its event horizon is vast, stretching for millions of miles. Think of it like walking on the surface of a planet. Earth is huge, so its surface feels flat to us. Its event horizon is so large that as you cross it, the difference in the gravitational pull on your body is tiny. You could sail across the event horizon in your spaceship, look around, and continue your journey completely intact. After you cross the threshold, you would have a period of time, perhaps hours depending on the black hole's size, of relatively peaceful freefall. You could perform experiments, take notes, and witness sights no one has ever seen before. You just couldn't tell anyone about it. It's the ultimate scientific sacrifice. But now, the tidal forces are growing exponentially. The spaghettification that was delayed is now beginning in earnest. Your body and your ship are being stretched and squeezed into a stream of subatomic particles, and you are hurtling toward your final destination, the singularity. What is it? The honest answer is, we don't know. It is the point where all our current laws of physics break down completely. Our best description of gravity, Einstein's general theory of relativity, 
tells us that the singularity is a point of infinite density. Some theories, like string theory, suggest that the singularity might not be a point at all, but rather a tiny vibrating loop of energy. Others speculate it could be a wormhole, a gateway to another universe or another point in our own. This is the ultimate mystery. The singularity is the universe's error message. Black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners, they are giant cosmic question marks hanging in space. They challenge our most fundamental ideas about reality. These objects are the ultimate laboratories of the universe. They take the laws of physics and push them to their breaking point. Every new discovery, from the first image of an event horizon to the detection of gravitational ripples from merging black holes, adds a new piece to the puzzle. They are the engines of cosmic evolution, shaping galaxies and seeding the universe with heavy elements. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that it's filled with these invisible monsters, these gateways to the unknown. They are dark, they are mysterious, and they are beautiful. And the quest to understand what happens inside a black hole is nothing less than the quest to understand the fabric of reality itself. It's a journey we've only just begun, and its destination remains the greatest mystery of all.